Jake here, uh, doing our next installment of Art Time with Jake. Uh, today, it's uh, I call this program Sweet Primaries. Uh, we're going to be doing a painting in the style of one of my favorite artists, Wayne Teabod. Uh, and he would do a variety of subject matter, but one of my favorites would be these confectionery or uh, dessert uh, paintings where he would make the paint just look tasty. <laughs> you know, like something you do, you just want to lick the icing. Uh, that's something that's neat about paint. Uh, it kind of actually looks like icing, uh, especially acrylic paint, I feel. Uh, and depending on the texture, the amount of paint you apply, you can really make it look a lot like uh, frosting. So anyway, today uh, we call this program Sweet Primaries because I'm going to show you how you can just use uh, the primary colors. And what I've done here is I have uh, warm and cool variations of the primary colors. So we have a warm red, cool red, warm yellow, cool yellow, and then a warm blue and a cool blue and white. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do this painting. Uh, it's going to be uh, using basically, you know, just mixtures of these colors. I'm not going to add any other colors. And you're going to see how simple it is just using the primary colors. And we're going to have some interesting stuff happening at the edges. That's something I want you to take note of. It's not just going to be like solid shapes of colors, but kind of towards their edges. That's where we're going to bring in other colors. Uh, oh, and something else, finally, I wanted to point out before I get started. Is wherever you include all the primary colors, you achieve this visual harmony uh, wherever the eye looks at it, where the eye doesn't have to uh, generate a color's complement. That's just what happens when there's only one color present and its complement isn't present. So with all the primary colors present, when you look at this, it's just going to happen to have this visual harmony you might not understand, and it's because your eyes uh, are at rest. They're not having to generate any colors, any complements. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. By the way, I just wanted to show you some of the brushes I'll be using. Uh, it's basically round brushes. These are rounds. This one's a liner brush for details. This one's a filbert. It's a flat that's rounded off. This is just a flat. So I might be using any of these, uh, probably mostly these smaller rounds for my details. Uh, probably use those flats to block in to get things started. Cup of water handy. Thinning down my paint with water. 